Hello everyone, we continue with the truth. Have you ever been promoted in your good job? What kind of feeling you get, God? You be encouraged to do better job for better promotion. Imagine that you become promoted by God and Jesus, such a happiness. You are going to do better things for better promotion. What is important is to share with your family and friends. Sometimes people turn back to Jesus while they are in a group of believers. You must be aware and fight their deadly fruits and convince the others about those people's mistake. Pray that God opens their eyes. If they continue, then you must release them from your group. Sometimes believers cannot recognize God's grace. Only continue with your good things and ask Holy Spirit to watch over you and ask Jesus to hold your hand and guide you. But your intelligence should keep you in the way. With Jesus we are complete. Sometimes we try to be complete, but it is given to us. Then read the Bible to keep yourself complete. New covenant is living in happiness. Be always grateful and thankful of God and Jesus. Always ask God and Jesus to have God's grace to transform it to the others. When your faith is strong, no storm can destroy it. Sometimes you need a stable rod to keep yourself to it against any strong storm to protect you, like Jesus. Jesus is the same yesterday, now, tomorrow, and always. Then when Jesus lives in you and you in him, then have then you have it be kind to people and we did invite people to christ as like as jesus has opened arm to everybody even sinners for he thinks that they can be awakened be open to everybody and with your kindness bring them to jesus we must be thankful to God and His grace to us. As like as someone gives you a gift and you become happy, then you must be very happy over God's gifts to us. Jesus talked about the marriage. God created human in kind of man and woman. When they accept each other, then they leave their parents and they become as one spirit until the dead divide them. If they divorce, they cannot be married again because of the spiritual connection. It means that human decision cannot change heavenly decision. But Jesus added that a sinful marriage must be destroyed means that they should be divorced and find in God's grace another who can really can take care of you. Jesus and God always be our leaders to respect human laws which are not against their laws. Give us strength to fight the laws against you and your grace. Amen. Sometimes we get duties which are hard. We try our best to do that and try to communicate and introduce it to them, to and others. When we are ready, then we are respected. 
Sometimes God and Jesus give us duty and we try to do our best to fulfill the responsibility. We search help in Bible or society. When we are ready, God and Jesus are pleased and we are respected. When we accept to live in Jesus, then we have God's grace. Then use them to live a healthy life. Sometimes you can be in a temple that you cannot find the spirit. Then to be with Jesus outside that temple is more holy than be in the temple without Jesus. In New Covenant, Jesus gives us God's grace, then use them to live healthy. Each time you find yourself in trouble, only think on the, that moment when you <coughs> bend in front of Jesus and find rest and peace. Then bend yourself in front of the cross and ask for peace and rest and mercies. Amen. Sometimes you travel to some places. Sometimes you get, uh, you become scared. Uh, you get a scary feeling that may hinder for your aim for your travel. You try to find solution if you meet those hinders, but with your strong faith, you can find yourself strong enough to meet anything. Then always do everything in the name of Jesus to have him with you as leader. Sometimes you must be an example of a society you live in. You must introduce them. Think that day that you stay in front of Jesus and Jesus asks you about those people you were their teacher. Therefore, communication is very important. Sometimes we meet our government's laws which are against Jesus. We must be encouraged to protest and fight to defeat with reasons and kindness. We who have accepted Jesus in our life, we must learn how to live with him. We must be thankful and be awakened to, uh, to hear Holy Spirit. Trust Jesus who give us what we need in any duties in, your, in our life. We must have respect for Jesus and his words as like as we respect the society's correct laws in the name of Jesus. As soon as we accept Jesus in our life, we must learn how to live with him by help of Holy Spirit. Have respect for your family and make each other happy with kindness. Be kind to people in the society you are living in. Respect the leaders, but fight on their incorrect decision. Pray that what pleases God, we do with help of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>